Hi guys, let's read a book. More Bunny Trouble by Hans Wilhelm. <laughs> Who likes bunnies? I do, me. More Bunny Trouble. On the day before Easter, Ralph was out kicking his soccer ball, just what he liked to do most. Then his mother told him to watch his little sister Emily, just what he didn't like to do most. He couldn't understand why his mother and father made such a fuss about Emily. She cried a lot and was always wet. Ralph thought Emily must be the noisiest, messiest baby in the whole world. <laughs> Babies are pretty messy, but they're pretty darn cute too, huh? You were all messy babies at some point. Ralph's mother gave him some Easter eggs to decorate and a blanket to sit on. Be sure that your sister does not crawl into the tall grass, she told Ralph. Ralph was trying to concentrate on his painting when Emily reached out to touch the eggs. Stop that, Ralph said, and he poked her with his paw. Not too hard, but not too gently either. Just enough to make Emily cry. Mama came running. What's the matter with Emily? She asked Ralph. I don't know, Ralph said, pretending to be busy painting an egg. But Ralph's mother had a good idea of what had happened. Ralph. I have told you over and over again, paws are not made for hitting. Ralph bowed his head. Yes, Mama, he said. But as soon as their mother was back inside, Ralph poked his little sister again. Uh-uh, that is not nice. Emily cried and cried, but this time her mother did not come. Instead, two butterflies flew by and fluttered around Emily's head. She quickly forgot about the hurt and started after the pretty blue creatures. <gasps> Ooh, can't blame her, I love butterflies. There's so many different types and there's so many different colors. Emily crawled off the blanket and headed straight for the tall green grass. That's tall grass. I thought she wasn't supposed to go out there. Do you think Ralph knows? It was a whole new world for Emily, filled with animals and flowers she had never seen before. Everything was so pretty and smelled so good. Emily looked around and then she went on crawling on and on. What do you see in the picture? I see some dragonflies. I see butterflies. I see bumblebees and ladybugs. Oh, and who's that down here? It's frogs and a little mouse. Oh my gosh. Suddenly Ralph looked up and saw that his sister was gone. Oh no, he cried. I was supposed to be watching her. Where did she go? How did she get away so fast? Emily, he called as loudly as he could. Emily, but there was no answer. Ralph looked everywhere. He listened trying to hear his sister's cry nothing. Oh dear, she must have gone into the tall grass. Anything could happen in there. A fox could get her, or an eagle, or a snake. I have to find her. He certainly is looking everywhere. Uh-oh. But the grass was so tall, Ralph could, could not see anything. He ran to his mother and told her the whole story. Ralph's mother did not lose any time. She called the neighbors together and asked them to help her find the baby. All the rabbits were busy getting eggs ready for Easter, but this was more important. They stopped their work and ran out into the tall grass. It's good that Ralph asked for help. Strength in numbers, huh?
wouldn't want him getting lost too. Each rabbit set off in a different direction. The field was so large and there were so few rabbits, how could they possibly search every spot? Besides, in the thick grass, they could easily pass right by the baby without even seeing her. Emily, Emily, they cried. Still no answer. Where was Emily? Could she hear them? Someone did hear the rabbits calling. It was a fox. He knew immediately what had happened. He licked his chops. With a little bit of luck, I'll have myself a delicious baby rabbit for supper, he said. And with that, the fox joined the search for little Emily. <gasps> oh no, he's not a very nice fox, is he? Emily's mother was getting frantic. It's late, she cried. We have to find Emily before the sun goes down. We need more help, said one of the neighbors. The grass is so thick and tall and there are so few of us. Then Ralph spoke up. I know what we can do. Listen, everybody. I think I have the answer. The rabbit stopped their search and gathered around Ralph. I wonder what his idea is. Here's my, my idea, Ralph said. We will all hold paws together and walk in a long line across the field. That way we can cover every inch. We can't miss her. All the rabbits thought this was a good idea. They joined paws and combed through the tall grass. Oh, that's a great idea. Look at that beautiful sunset. And that's how they found little Emily, fast asleep, dreaming of butterflies. <laughs> there were cheers as Ralph's mother took Emily into her arms again. Everyone was overjoyed. Even Ralph shed a tear or two. With the baby home safe at last, the rabbits could finish the Easter eggs in time. It would be a happy Easter for all, except, of course, for the fox. <laughs> Emily looks a little surprised, huh? From then on, Ralph watched his favorite sister very carefully. The two of them could often be seen walking along, holding paws together. Oh, the end. More Bunny Trouble by Hans Wilhelm. <laughs>